point. So we don't have to have much of a protection system on this mower because rocks and stones will flow through it quite easily. It's got center pivot, top drive machine, so you're cutting the full width. And Charlie will unfold it now. Everything's done from the tractor seat. These days we run with a swath wheel instead of the old swath board, which just um, helps. You can have an inner swath board as well. Right, this machine here forms the basis of a range that we uh, launched with Kaverman last year in New Zealand's become the pilot scheme for this, which is our Profi range. Now, the disc mower you see over there has a two-year cutter bar warranty uh, drive line. The pro professional line, the Profi range of Kaverman machines all carry a two-year full manufacturer's warranty supported by Kavernland. So you've got some pretty, you know, a lot of backup behind the system, and that includes guaranteed backup machines, We've got part positioned around our 18 dealers, um, so we should get you going quickly, and all parts are kept in New Zealand. The 5300 here is on, um, on our flagship Deutsch tractor. Some of you might have seen this. It's been doing the rounds through the North Island the last three months. And the 53100 mower, this will go from, um, this cuts from 9.8 with a 3.2 mower on the front up to 10.2 metres with a 3.6 metre mower on the conditioner on the front. The front mower conditioner is uh, what we call the 3332 and replaces the old 36 we, series we used to have and that's got a lower headstock um, but still has the same trailing head with a lot of flotation in all directions. So you're trailing the head instead of pushing it. Um, the rear mower conditioner here is features two nine disc mower conditioners with, with our semi-swing conditioner on it. The semi-swing um, tines again have a huge shelf life on them. They, they take rocks, they fold out the way to let rocks and things go through there without end. We can swath like we're going to do here or you can flip the head over on a simple lever and go wide spreading with it. And the conditioner plate has two, two positions. You can condition, you can alter the front and the back of the conditioner plate on two simple levers you can see on the back of the machine where the white gauge is. The other feature with this, it's a fully isobus mower conditioner and the arms are telescopic. Michael push out, show you how they move in and out. And this is all operated off the isobus screen or a Cavernland um, teles screen. Um, this can be tied in with a thing called GMO. So if you were a triangular field, it will narrow up or widen the machine automatically um, depending where you are on the GPS. And you can see also um, both mowers on the back are on what we call quadrilink suspension, which Cavernan always made a big thing. It's the same suspension system that racing cars use. So again, trailing head, so um, it'll float over any, ob uh, any obstacles. Right, first of all, we'll start with our rake range. Um, we show you two rakes today. Um, these are both part, I mentioned before, of our Profi line. Um, contractor gear. So um, this is a nine meter, it's our 9590 model um, hydro and we've just had this fitted with um, marsh rings. So um, we always thought marsh rings would be a bit of a problem with our crank tine arms but um, they managed to get them on and made quite a clever job of it. So the unique feature with our machine is um, when it's folded up you'll see the back wheels are on hydraulic rams so you lower the rake down so you don't have to take the tine arms off to go down the road. Um, it's adjustable hydraulically from 8 metres to 9 metres from the tractor cab. Um, we run with um, cranked tine arms um, with what we call duo tines. So the tines on the rake 
uh, staggered. You're slow to the night in a straight line, so you get a double raking effect. And um, the crank tine arms lift away from the crop quickly, so you have a lesser angle in the cam track, so less wear, and um, it leaves a nice shape on the crop. And the cam wheel and pinion on this again is a bigger version of what we fit on the on the tedders. So you've got a sealed oil immersed crown wheel with a, the pinion held by two bearings, one either side of the of the gear. Steering obviously pretty common on rakes these days. And JP will get you to make a swath, please. For those of those who know the marsh rings on this rake, the cost is about four and a half thousand dollars plus fitting. That's something you can fit yourself or get your dealer to fit in as well. Right, our, um, our four rotor range. Oh, no, uh, uh, the actual front arms of the rotor are on a on a pivot in the middle, so if, if you hit something, they'll bend, fold back out the way. You can fit marsh rings this, onto this as well. Um, Again, full isobus, controlled from the screen in the cab. Um, you can have individual rotor lift. You control the, the, the width in and out as well, all hydraulically adjustable. Um, and again, part of our profit line, so full two-year warranty on this rake. OK, Charlie. See, with the um, crank tine arms, you get a very clean uh, swath, and it doesn't flick the grass over the top. It just makes a nice, forms a nice swath. Yeah. 